Hello everybody, I hope you are well. So today is part two of our video showing the eight fundamental basic stances of uh, Northern Seven Star Praying Mantis Kung Fu. Cameron Hurst Shifu takes me through these stances and today we look at the reverse hill climb stance, the single leg horse stance, which was uh, very challenging. After about 30 seconds, I was shaking like a leaf. The circle entering stance and the middle stance. And these are, these are really fascinating because they cover off all sorts of applications, you know, high and low and entering and defense. And it's, it's really interesting to see the mechanics behind this. If you found this useful or interesting or in any way helped you kill a couple of minutes, smash the like button, hit the little bell notifications thing and uh, enjoy the video. The easiest next one to do is the reverse hill climbing stance. So we did the hill climbing stance. Now if I want to evade a kick, I'm going to move back. So essentially this is the same position as our hill climbing stance. I'm just turning my body here. So you're moving, you're getting almost a full steps worth of movement, but within static feet, within your own posture. Exactly. So it, may, it just gives me a way of evading without stepping. I can evade and then I can come back in and attack. The next one is known as the single leg horse stance. So some, some styles call this the uh, single leg, leg chicken stance. <laughs> and as the name suggests, it's on one leg. And that's basically all your weights on the back foot you're going to have your foot slightly away from the center line and you're just lifting your knee. You want this foot to be able to tap your kneecap to know the position. Okay, so again, that's for avoiding uh, sweeps or checking kicks. Okay, it's pretty simple. You're bringing the hip up and across slightly? Uh, you don't have to turn too much. Because if you, if you bring your leg high enough, you're going to protect that groin area anyway. So you don't want to have to change your center of gravity too much. Essentially, you want to be able to avoid a kick or block a kick and then step in for an attack. Okay, so the next stance is um, really a level change. So we like to use a change of levels in the Prey Mantis system. So much the same way that a boxer would punch high and punch low in a boxing sense, we want to be able to attack to the mid section. The, the, the lower region, we're going to mainly use our legs to attack. Center region, we're going to use our legs and our hands. And the upper region, we're mainly going to use our hands. We don't have a huge amount of kicks in this top area, we do have a few. Um, but to get down to be able to attack that mid-level using our punches and elbows, we have to obviously make our center of gravity go down. So this is called circle entering stance. And for this, I'm actually gonna come down, okay? Front foot is gonna take a little bit more of the weight, but it's essentially balanced. This knee is gonna come quite close to this leg, so a little bit more than a fist, okay? I'm up on the ball of my foot, I'm not here, and I'm not flipped over like that. You wanna keep that there so that you have power to then burst forward. And the idea being, if there's an opponent, maybe he punches, and I can come in here, okay? And then maybe I attack here, I might elbow, okay? generally going to be, if I can, I'm going to be hooking here. Okay, and that's going to, the reason I want to do that, that's going to affect his center of gravity. It's going to take his attention away, give me an opening to attack. So give that a try. This one is a tough one on the legs if you're practicing. So we're a little bit closed off because we want to protect the groin area. We don't want to be open here. We're turning this knee in, so this is straight. This leg's gonna be a little bit across just to protect that groin area. Yep, 
you might want to bring that back leg in just a tad so it's a little bit closer about a fist distance oh, yep so hold, holding that position is a really good leg exercise that's tough. Um, it also gives you a good balance workout yeah, because the, course, the line of the feet is quite narrow yeah. Yeah. so foot foot yeah down. yeah especially as soon as you start bringing that, the hands into it to do your actions you're going to find it's going to challenge your balance quite a lot so this is for beginners this is um this can be quite a tough one in terms of the muscular endurance that it requires to hold the position so for beginners we we, we like to hold the stances so you're comfortable you have the strength in the position because with any stance particularly in our system which has a lot of movement and stepping the stances are essentially the the end position of your movement so we're not fighting in this position we're moving into this position and then maybe we're coming out and attacking so to be comfortable in those end ranges you want to build strength in the position the same way you would do a bench press you want to be strong at the bottom and at the top so that you can do the movement well so it's a good a good way to practice to build your strength your also your you can say flexibility or muscle mobi mobility in that position is just to hold hold the stance the last uh, stance that we're going to do is probably the most familiar to most people including beginners and that's the middle stance so it's essentially the same as a boxer's stance and this is basically our non-interacting stance so if i'm not interacting with you engaging with you or bridging with you i'm going to be in a middle stance because that's the most uh, biomechanically balanced position so like a, it's like a neutral You're it's a it's a neutral like position we, we use the the same concept as a boxer our feet are going to be pointed off about 45 the heel is going to be in line with the big toe and our center of gravity is right in the middle okay and we're just going to use that stance to move forward and back or if we need to turn so very similar to a western boxing stance so knees are soft and you just want to think about being able to move in any direction from that position what we call the um the eight directions essentially forward back side to side and then the 45 degree angles so if you if you can feel that you can move in all of those positions then you've got the stance right so a very mobile very uh, balanced stance right okay